Hello my beautiful friend, today is a beautiful day to be alive and to be an Elden Ring player because we just got a patch, patch 1.09 is live, TLDR, a bunch of things got nerfed and buffed, we have a nerf to jumping attack overall, whether it's power stance, the cloth talisman got nerfed, the black rope feather thingy, armor got nerfed, we also have a nerf to white mask and lords of blood's exaltation damage, we also have a nerf to um, the IGN glitch, you know, where you engulf yourself in flame and you are able to have like blood on your right weapon and then you are able to proc bleed on someone just by running at them. So this glitch was really annoying, some assholes were still using it and now it's being patched, which is beautiful. Another thing that's great that's being buffed, and so now we're talking about the buff, is guard counters got buffed, which is pretty amazing and we have also a buff to a bunch of animation on running attacks uh, and also a buff to yeah the, on some attack i don't know exactly which ones yet have been buffs but basically on curved great swords so curved great swords are faster on some attacks same for great hammers great axe and great sword so i think it's the r2s all r2s got buffed some running r1 got buffed also uh, and the crouch attack on the curve great soul seemed to got buffed, but those needs to be further testing. The patch just dropped like one minute ago. We also have a flail, a buff to flails. If you guys are excited about flails, we do have a buff to flails. They are a bit faster now, which is pretty amazing. Maybe those weapons can be good now. We'll see. You also have poise when you two hand the weapon, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, we have, yeah, we have also a buff to running attack on straight sword, curved sword, katana's twin blade, axe, hammer and halberd which is, I mean, I don't think halberd needed a buff in the running attack but everything else is a much, much, much welcome buff. Uh, guard counters, I talk about it, pretty much all weapon, guard counters got buffs, straight sword, great sword, also sword, great, curved great sword, katana, twin blade, axe, great axe, flare, great hammers, spears, great spear, halberd. I guess everything got buffed. I think Colossal Weapon didn't got buffed. That's the only one because I think they were already doing a lot of damage. Some people were able to one shot with it. We also have Royal Knight Resolve that got nerfed. So Determination Royal Knight Resolve damage got nerfed, which is amazing. Once again, um, and then we have a few, th and we have Light Roll. Light Roll got nerfed, which is amazing. The distance of Light Roll is nerfed, so now you are going to be able. To be able to catch people using it to some extent i'm pretty sure it's still going to be very strong but now it's not like super overpowered like it used to we have also some adjustment to some ashes of war so far nothing too crazy that i see um nothing uh, except the um, the one with uh with the the you know the the fire and golf mini glitch the ign glitch we have viper's bite it could be a good thing viper's bite you know is the ash of war that you use with your shield the poison the snake shield and you're able to proc deadly poison on someone using that it's true that the recovery was very long now we have a lot less recovery so maybe this weapon can be great now we have common d near that got a buff into its speed attack damage <coughs> and we also have uh, you know, star star color cry, which is not an amazing Ash of War. It's pretty shit. Uh, you guys know that I, I I'm very sad about Radan's uh, Star Scourge great swords that can be can be much better, but unfortunately they are as they are. So the the follow up attack is faster. How much faster? We'll see. Maybe it is definitely significantly faster and deserve to be called upon and we have a bunch of little bug fixes about like some affinities that were not working properly some attack fix some damage on horseback attack again nothing too 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 crazy um, on the glitch side of things some connection issues that got that got, got patched the usage of the phantom bloody finger also that seems to be a bit more adjusted to the location of the host and this is and of course we have the main thing that i didn't talk about because i don't give a shit but maybe you guys do uh, the ray tracing ray tracing i don't even know what ray tracing is it's something that makes your game more beautiful but this is pretty much uh what it is but in my opinion the game being beautiful it doesn't really matter uh, in in the experience of actually playing the game but that's just my opinion uh i don't really care about that thing 
Uh, they also nerf weirdly the power of uh, heavy attack on Fist and Claw. I understand on Fist because Fist were very, very, very strong, especially the R2 that is always poise, poise breaking you and comes out very fast. A uh, lot of damage, I think, yeah, but it's cool that it does less damage. Now you're going to be not able to get killed by Fist because they were so strong, especially on the R2, especially on the... Spike Kestis, but on close, I mean, why? Why would you nerf the, the the heavy attack on close? Like, close are really struggling right now. They are not too great, and now you want to make them worse? I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea. We have also Terra Magica that's being nerfed. Wave of Gold that's being nerfed if you are further. So if you get hit by the beam from very far, you will probably not get poise broken and you'll probably get less damage. So this this is like really annoying, especially in Invasion, because you're able to get, you know, so much damage out of you, maybe a thousand plus damage by getting hit by this killless Ash of War. Yes, I'm not afraid to see it, to say it. I'm going to tell to call you guys out on your bullshit. It's pretty great that we have also the nerf to you know, jumping attack in general. Um, and this is pretty much all that I can see so far when I'm reading the patch notes right now. Nothing else too crazy, but I'm sure those little changes, those little tiny bits of changes are very, very welcome and are going to make the game a much better experience. It's great that they are buffing weapons that are being pretty underused, like Great Axes, Curve Great Sword. I made a video, go check it out. And... Yeah, it's great that we are in the phase of the game where they are now, you know, doing like tiny buffs and tiny nerfs here and there to try to achieve a perfect balance. We of course know that the game will never be perfectly balances, balanced, that's the nature of FromSoft games, it's very hard to balance PvE and PvP and to make, the, you know, it's, it's so hard to do and they are right now making a great job at doing it. So thank you guys so much for watching the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, I love you guys, it was Valentin, I answer to every comment, let me know what you feel, what you think about the patch notes, I see you in the next video, bye bye!